back in this thing. After a few weeks of uh, dealing with timing chains, I found out something new about this car that the previous owner didn't know. And apparently it's APR Stage 2, which for those of you who don't know, this requires a downpipe, an intake, and a tube. Which is good news for me. Less uh, money I have to shell out. Now I can get the tune transferred into my name, put on a couple different maps on there. But it feels good to be back. So I took the GTI in to get the timing change done a few weeks ago and I picked it up two days later which was awesome. I was really impressed with how fast they got it done. I was having a different indication that there wasn't something right. So I took it back and I had them check their work which is a really hard pill to swallow for some some people right these guys they're professionals they check their work so once we found out that there was no change and it was perfectly in time I was like what else could be causing this what I was seeing was a positive phase angle in bank one which what I was told was caused by a advance in timing and that wasn't the case so I started calling around to the different dealers, the major dealers. I was gonna call Unitronic, but APR being the biggest one, I called them first. Turns out, this car was APR stage two. Now I have not double checked to see if I have a downpipe. I'm gonna say I probably do. Uh, I know I have that boiler cat back that you can probably hear on this audio so for me that means that there's not much left to do I ordered a revision D diverter valve from ECS I also ordered a CTS turbo outlet pipe so uh, hopefully they are delivered to my house in Delaware because we are about to travel to Delaware for a few days then when I get back, yeah, I start working on this bad boy. Really the hardest thing up here is keeping a vehicle clean. This thing is dirty AF. There's a couple uh, scratches in the paint that I'd like to take care of. A couple cosmetic things like uh, some LEDs. But overall, that makes me really happy that now we're in time and I'm tuned. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's good to know that I have a little bit more power than a stock GTI. One thing I have noticed is when I stomp on it, start to get some torque steer. So what I like to do to mitigate with that torque steer is uh, the same thing I did to my GLI, which was a Tyrol Sport uh, subframe rigid collars and an 034 Motorsport dog bone mount. Hopefully that will uh, reduce some of the torque steer. I feel like it helped a lot in my GLI, which as you know, had a KO. So uh, I'm hoping that I get the same results in this bad boy. So that's just some more stuff to look forward to in the uh, coming months. I also think I'm going to pick up a new head unit uh, during a Black Friday sale. Hopefully I should probably slow down a little bit. Uh, and get that installed. So. Lots to come in the coming months. I hope you stay tuned. I hope you like these videos. I am so pumped to be back in the GTI. Uh, man, just even sitting in here feels great because this seat just hugs you. It's like welcoming me back. 
the seat is a lot huggier than the GLI, stock GLI seats were too. So that's kind of nice. Or maybe I've just gained some weight. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I got for today. If you want to see more GTI related stuff, please smash that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.